It has, yeah, it's actually not too bad right now. I don't know if that's a fair thing to say, but uh, when, it, when it rains, it pours, they say, and that has been this, the uh, going all day today. The winds are picking up a little bit right now, but for much of the day, it has just been coming down. The streets are starting to fill up. There's a lot of drains that are plugged up, streets filled with water. Traffic is very, very slow. But of course, the concern is after the summer that we have seen that the consequences could be much worse than that. Rain in Vancouver isn't a surprise, but not this much. Well, it's not pleasant. <laughs> you just keep your head down and keep on plucking. Especially when your job seems to have switched from summer drought maintenance to early fall cleanup on a dime. Well, I was hoping a little bit light rain to keep things going, but yeah, I would have, wouldn't mind having some more sun. <laughs> From June 1st to September 1st, Vancouver saw 74 millimeters of rain. It could see 80 millimeters today alone. The first one is always memorable and, you know, the flooding, the localized flooding, the, the troughs, the storm drains, uh, perhaps even safety concerns around trees, you know, losing their limbs. Experts say this summer's extreme heat and drought have left trees weakened, increasing the possibility of power outages. The types of vegetation we have here, um, much of it isn't used to those dry conditions. Uh, and, you know, we're also seeing now this rainfall, um, which could loosen that, uh, that drought-ridden soil. And this summer's fires can dramatically reduce how much rainfall is absorbed, leading to mudslides below. It happened in August of 2018 in Cache Creek after a large wildfire the summer before. And in the Caribou region, a history of fires created slides and washed roads out this past spring. But there are simple things residents can do to protect their properties. They themselves need to be aware of, of the risk and um, how they can mitigate that risk through simple things on their own property, keeping culverts clean, keeping ditches open, um, and potentially creating small earth berms. Okay, Susie, storm season usually puts roads and homes at risk. So what outages and closures are we already seeing? Well, as far as closures, we have already seen a highway close between Lytton and Spence's Bridge. That highway is now closed right now, about 34 kilometer stretch of it because of that concern of landslides. Of course, the devastating fires that raged through that area this summer. So that highway is closed right now. We have, are already seeing some outages as well. About 2,300 properties right now are without power, according to BC Hydro. But the winds do seem to be picking up a little bit. So another number to be keeping an eye on. We've also seen delays today on SkyTrain because of flooding and, of course, again, on on a lot of streets, a lot of side streets, people being told to be careful, to slow down. You may not realize how deep that puddle is that you're about to drive through. So a lot of concern and caution uh, as people head out onto the streets or maybe just stay home tonight as this storm passes. Anita? Well, hopefully you get to get home and dry off, Susie. Thank you.